ropes the baseline with five to shoot. As the mismatch, and a step away three in Rue, among others, as Holiday down the lane, no. Holiday, a homecoming for he and his brother. Late in the shot clock, left to three, and Pat Beverly. Big advantage at the end of the first quarter in rebound for the Clippers, 16-5, and then we see time and finishes with the layup. Senior with nine, Clippers by 14. Holiday. It's a friendly roll. Reggie Jackson had 11 in that win over Sacramento on Friday, getting that battlefield promotion. Push your forearm, and you get caught. That's what happens. Cross-court pass from Jackson to Senior. And now Beverly gets it to Senior, open in the corner, and a whistle and a foul. A ticket when they got to the arena. And he has worked with an 11-point lead for the Clippers. Interesting stat about the Pacers is that they returned 98% of the minutes played. So they like the roster, and I do as well. It's thought they needed a different voice from Nate McMillan, who is a terrific coach. McMillan did an outstanding job during his tenure in Indianapolis. Like you said, every once in a while, you decided to bring in four or five new players that maybe you feel a little change in the coaching philosophy might be the best thing. Hesitation from Reggie Jackson, and by 13. McConnell. Whole coaching side on his whole family on his father's side, all coaches, all the way. And there's no doubt he's the best team in the league in terms of half court offense. Paul George slithering his way inside. A short time ago, that they really missed Turner protecting the front of the room, and we see it now over and over again. Fred, 40%. George calls his own number again. There's nobody guarding that rim with mild advantage. They, they certainly are. I'm trying to figure out. What they're going to do to change up the assignments to try to keep Sabonis at least close to the rim. Now Sabonis engulfed with defenders, now singly covered by George with six to shoot. Brogdon a catch and shoot three. Sabonis taps the rebound out of bounds and it goes. Sent more than he did a year ago in terms of bringing it. Brian, you know what? The Clips have had an answer for everything Indiana has thrown at them. That answer is make a shot. And that's certainly what they did. Not the basketball savant that you are, but I always believe that out on the limb there's our Well, <laughs> cut off. Probably. To proc in any <laughs> link pockets of the Clippers. They haven't been able to do that. But again, they are very shorthanded. Kennard gets it to the paint, gets it to an open. Patterson for three. Five. Clippers out in front. Six and a half to play in the half. McDermott doing his best to keep the Pacers in it. Had 15 first. Ball poked into the backcourt by Brogdon. George has been aggressive since bringing the ball across half court. This time he draws a pair of defenders. Kennard finds Patterson again for three. Triples. Brogdon to Sabonis. This is their one-two punch, and Sabonis leads on footwork that he has. Kennard open for three. Leaves it lungs into Kennard. A whistle. As you said it at the top of the show. This is their best player. Creating space, clever footwork, and look like, like he threw that same elbow again, didn't he? That he got called for before. It's like he's trying to drill the defender in the rib cage. Great pass from Zoo. Not unable to convert. 39. The Clippers seemed like they were just moments away from blowing this one wide open. Sabonis inside lays it into this one. Basis to Sabonis in that pick and roll situation. How many touches in a row for Sabonis? Again, this is their one-two punch. They've got to find some type of offense with that depleted roster with injuries. Sabonis gets into the paint, no follows his miss, no, but a whistle and a foul. Bruce had led by as many as 18. For a little mini run for the Pacers. Kennard wide open, another three, and Luke Horsham's off the iron. And that 50% shooting from the three-point line is now down to 35% for the clip. Holiday inside gets a nice touch. That the Clippers had been making early. What happens is you're back playing defense every time. Here comes the deflection, steal, and fast break left. If you're just joining us, Clippers led by as many as 18 in this quarter, ready to break it open. But a scrappy, shorthanded Pacers squad has battled back. 
And McDermott goes inside to Sabonis, who's come to life in the second quarter. Holiday misses on the three, and Leonard has the rebound heading into the break. Defense from behind by Sabonis. There's good time, however, on the shot clock. McConnell is a pest. Morris for three. Got it. Recovered, got control of it. And you wind up with a wide open senior. He might not have the athleticism that you would need to battle with Paul George for 48 minutes, but he's going to make every possession count defensively. It's Holiday on